Hi guys, welcome back to Mad About Designs. In this tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to design this slot cam and sliding follower mechanism using Autodesk Fusion 360. This assembly is consisting of the axis, followers, base, and the cam. Here are the dimensions of the components and the tools and commands we are going to use in this tutorial. If you are new to this channel, do subscribe to us and turn on the bell notification. I upload tutorials regarding designs for beginners and advanced users. So without wasting time, let's get into it. First create a new design by going to files, select new design. The unit we're going to use in this tutorial is centimeter. Create a new component and give it a name cam. Keep it active and click OK. Create a new sketch on the top plane. Go to center dia circle. Select the center as the origin and give it a diameter of 10 centimeter. Under create, go to three point arc slot. Select the first point horizontally aligned with the origin at any distance and the second point vertically aligned with the origin as follows. Give it any radius and give the slot a diameter of 0.75 cm. Now under constraint click on horizontal or vertical. Select these two points so they will be vertically aligned to each other. Repeat the same for these two points to make them horizontally aligned. Now go to sketch dimension, select this point and the origin and give a vertical distance of 2.25 cm between them. Repeat the same for these two points and give a horizontal distance of 4 cm. Now go to sketch line command, turn on this construction feature. Select the first point and draw a horizontal line as follows. Click OK. Now under constraint, go to tangent. Select this arc and this line so they will be tangent to each other. Now go to center dia circle. Select the center as the origin and give it a diameter of 1 cm. Select this circle and turn on the construction feature. Under create, go to circular pattern. Select this slot as the object and for the center point, click on the origin. Number of items 4. Click OK. Finish sketch. Here is our profile ready. Now go to extrude. Select this profile and extrude it upward up to 1 cm. Operation new body, click OK. Here is our cam ready. Now go to main assembly, create a new component and give it a name base. Keep it active and click OK. Create a new sketch on the top plane. Go to two point rectangle and change it to center point. Select the center as the origin and give it a dimension of 3 by 15 cm square. Draw another rectangle from the same origin. This time give a dimension of 1 by 15 cm square. Now delete these construction lines. Go to two point rectangle. Select the first point vertically aligned with the origin and give a dimension of 3 by 0.5 cm square. Here is our profile ready. Finish sketch. Go to extrude. Select these two profiles. Extrude them downward up to minus 2 cm. Operation new body. Click OK. Create a new sketch on this plane. 
go to two point rectangle select the first point anywhere on this body and give it a dimension of 1 by 2 cm square go to sketch dimension select these two corner points and give a horizontal distance of 0.5 cm repeat the same and give a vertical distance of 0.5 cm finish sketch go to extrude select this profile drag it inward extend all so the profile would be cut through the whole body operation cut click ok now under modify go to chamfer select these two edges and give a distance of 0.5 cm press enter now under create go to circular pattern pattern type bodies and for the objects select these two bodies for axis select this vertical green axis number of quantities 4 type full click ok now we need to join these bodies so go to combine select these two bodies operation join click ok i am going to repeat the same step for three times for the remaining bodies Here is our base ready. Now go back to main assembly. Create a new component and give it a name follower. Keep it active and click OK. Create a new sketch on this plane. Hide our cam for now. Under create go to project. Selection filter specify identities. Click on these two corners. Turn on the projection link and click OK. Go to two point rectangle. Select the first point here and the second point here. Finish sketch. Go to extrude. Click on this profile. Drag it inward up to a distance of minus 6 cm. Operation new body. Click OK. Now create a new sketch on the top plane of this body. Go to center dial circle and draw a circle vertically aligned with the midpoint of diameter 0.75 cm. Go to sketch dimension, select the center and this edge and give a vertical distance of 0.75 cm. Go to extrude command. Click on this profile and drag it upward up to a distance of 1.5 cm. Operation join. Click OK. Here is our one follower ready. Turn on the visibility of our cam to view our components clearly. Now under create, go to circular pattern. Pattern type bodies and for the object select this body for axis select this vertical green axis type full number of quantities 4 press enter now if we go to follower here is our four bodies ready we need to convert them into components so click on body 1 press shift key and select the body 4 so in between all the bodies will be selected. Right click and create components from bodies. So all of our bodies will be converted into components under followers. Now go back to main assembly. Here is our all components are ready. But before assigning any joints, we need to provide one axis. So under create, go to cylinder. Click on this plane, select the center as the origin and give a diameter of 1 cm. Drag it downward up to a distance of minus 5 cm. Operation 
new component and click ok here is our axis now right click on it go to properties and change the part name to axis press enter before assigning any joints to them we need to ground the axis repeat the same step for the base so they won't move from their original position whereas our cam and followers can be moved easily revert back to our original position now our components are ready for joints so go to joints for component 1 select the cylindrical face of our cam and for component 2 select the circular face of our axis here our cam is rotating in right direction go to motion type revolute and animate it it seems all right so click ok now under assembly go to as build joint for component 1 select this follower and for the component 2 select the base position click on this line our follower is sliding in right direction type slider click ok I am going to repeat the same step for three times for the remaining three followers. Here we have assigned joints to all our components. Now if we go to joint, right click on Revolute 1 and animate model, here we can see our cam is revolving without any limits and our followers are also not sliding in accordance to the cam. So right click on Revolute 1 and go to Edit Joint Limit. Turn on the Minimum and Maximum option. Assign a maximum value of 90 degree. Animate it. Click OK. Now in order to prevent the overlapping between the cam and the follower and to move our follower in accordance to the cam under assembly click on enable all contact so all the contacts between our components will be activated now if we right click on revolute 1 and animate model here you can see our assembly is working properly press a to go to appearance I'm going to use this paint metallic white, yellow and black color on them. Here is our assembly ready. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial. Till then keep designing and design whatever you love. Bye bye.